The stage is set, and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup Final? Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus Germany. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. A decisive clearance it was. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Leon Goretzka plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Thomas Müller. And he's fired over the corner. And still dangerous. Messi. And I think it's fair to say the pressure from the defender puts him off a bit. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners up in 1930, 1990 and eight years ago in 2014. Are they going to do it here in 2022? What a big night for them. Well, it's a massive night. And when you talk about World Cup finals, I always go back to 1978 as a great occasion. Ticker tape in Buenos Aires. The kickoff delayed because one of the Netherlands players had a cast on his arm. Mario Kempes, brilliant player. Ozzy Ardiles, that was Argentina at their best. Can they reproduce that sort of form here today? I think they can. Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this. And it's in. We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to save her. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such running. Great goal. And so Germany get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? Leroy Zane. Good tackle. McAllister, Marcos Acuna, it needs an accurate cross, making sure nothing came of it, Serge Gnabry, David Raum, this looks promising out wide, but timely defending when it mattered. And over the touchline for what will be a Germany throw-in. And options in the centre. Corner to Germany as they look to get back into this game. But he's gone short with it. The corner kicks keep on coming. Taken short. chance that was keeper has the ball excellent refereeing advantage in operation well as you can see Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here but what they've done with it has been really good and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment they love to play on the counter-attack Thomas Müller well it was a foul but good use of advantage by the referee well, sometimes advantage just doesn't work out. And the referee has awarded a free kick now. And a long way out here. Well, the keeper made the save pretty easily in the end. And they know they need to stop him. It's a good-looking ball in behind.
Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Messi, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Goal. 2 0 here, and the ball is moving again. Müller. Zane has it. Kimmich. Germany couldn't hang on to it. There will be one minute added on at the end. Jamal Musiala. That is that for the first half here. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Thomas Müller. Musiala. Kimmich. This is Müller. Sané, but intercepted. Leon Goretzka. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Rodrigo de Paul. Messi. Good technique displayed. The supporters want to see him have a go. And there it is! Another goal! And surely there's no way back from this now! Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Number 10, Lionel Messi. Gundogan. Well, nicely cut out. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. Romero. An alert intervention. Gundogan. David Raum. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Sané. Now Kimmy. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. A room to roam on the wing. A glorious chance. He can't hold on to it. In it goes. But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Well, Derek, this has been a really good performance, as you can see. They've created numerous chances, they're winning the game comfortably, and they could go on and score more. This could get really embarrassing. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. The high press was on, and the chance is on. 
What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Gnabry. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Counter-attacking, very much an option. They need to get bodies back. And up for grabs off the keeper. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Take it away. We're inside the final five minutes. My goodness, this has not been close at all. And very deftly cut out. Leroy Zane. Oh, good vision. But ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in. Fulkrug. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Easy save. And there goes the final whistle for the third time in history. Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that.